Ellesmere Island is part of the Kuktaaluk region of the Canadian Territory of Nunavut. Lying within the Canadian Arctic Archipelago, it is considered part of the Queen Elizabeth Islands, with Cape Columbia being the most northerly point of land in Canada. It comprises an area of 196,235 kilometers to and the total length of the island is 830 kilometers, making it the world's 10th largest island and Canada's third largest island. The Arctic Cordillera mountain system covers much of Ellesmere Island, making it the most mountainous in the Canadian Arctic archipelago. The Arctic willow is the only woody species to grow on Ellesmere Island. History the first human inhabitants of Ellesmere Island were small bands drawn to the area for Piri caribou, muskox, and marine mammal hunting about 2000 to Euro 1000 BCE. As was the case for the Dorset hunters and the pioneering near Eskimos, the post ruin island and late Thule culture Inuit used the Back Peninsula region extensively both summer and winter until environmental, ecological, and possibly social circumstances caused the area to be abandoned. It was the last region in the Canadian High Arctic to be depopulated during the Little Ice Age, attesting to its general economic importance as part of the Smith Sound culture sphere of which it was occasionally a part and sometimes the principal settlement component. Vikings from the Greenland colonies reached Ellesmere Island, Skraling Island, and Ruin Island during hunting expeditions and trading with the Inuit groups. Unusual structures on Back Peninsula may be the remains of a late period Dorset stone longhouse. The first European to sight the island after the height of the Little Ice Age was William Barfin in 1616. Ellesmere Island was named in 1852 by Edward Inglefield's expedition after Francis Edgerton, 1st Earl of Ellesmere. The U.S. expedition led by Adolphus Greeley in 1881 crossed the island from east to west establishing Fort Conger in the northern part of the island. The Greeley expedition found fossil forests on Ellesmere Island in the late 1880s. Stenkull Fod was first explored in 1902 by Pescu, a member of Otto Sverdrup's second Norwegian polar expedition. The Ellesmere Ice Shelf was documented by the British Arctic Expedition of 1875 Euro 76, in which Lieutenant Pelham Aldrich's party went from Cape Sheridan West to Cape Alert, including the Ward's Hunt Ice Shelf. In 1906 Robert Peary led an expedition in northern Ellesmere Island, from Cape Sheridan along the coast to the western side of Nornsen Sound. During Peary's expedition, the ice shelf was continuous. A modern estimate is that it covered 8,900 kilometers too. In 2011, John Turk and Eric Boomer completed the first known circumnavigation of Ellesmere Island. Geography Ellesmere Island is separated to the east by Nares Strait from Greenland, to the west by Eureka Sound and Nornsen Sound from Axel Heiberg Island, and to the south by Jones Sound and Cardigan Strait from Devon Island. Ellesmere Island contains Canada's northernmost point, Cape Columbia at 83 A degree 6 A euro squared 41 A euro cubed N equals protected areas equals, more than one-fifth of the island is protected as Cartinera like National Park, which includes seven fields and a variety of glaciers, as well as Lake Hazen, North America's largest lake north of the Arctic Circle. Barbo Peak, the highest mountain in Nunavut is located in the British Empire range on Ellesmere Island. The most northern mountain range in the world, the Challenger Mountains, is located in the northeast region of the island. The northern lobe of the island is called Grant Land. In July 2007, a study noted the disappearance of habitat for waterfowl, invertebrates, and algae on Ellesmere Island. According to John P. Small of Queen's University in Kingston, Ontario, and Marianne S. V. Douglas of the University of Alberta in Edmonton, warming conditions and evaporation have caused low water levels and changes in the chemistry of ponds and wetlands in the area. The researchers noted that in the 1980s they often needed to wear hip waders to make their way to the ponds. While by 2006 the same areas were dry enough to burn. Equals glaciers and ice caps equals, large portions of Ellesmere Island are covered with glaciers and ice, with Manson Ice Field and Sidge Cap in the south. Prince of Wales Ice Field and Agassiz Ice Cap along the central east side of the island, and the northern Ellesmere Ice Fields. 
the northwest coast of Ellesmere Island was covered by a massive, 500 kilometers long ice shelf until the 20th century. The Ellesmere Ice Shelf shrank by 90% in the 20th century due to warming trends in the Arctic, particularly in the 1930s and 1940s, a period when the largest ice islands were formed leaving the separate Alfred Ernest, Ailes, Milne, Ward Hunt, and Markham Ice Shelves. A 1986 survey of Canadian ice shelves found that 48 km 2 or 3.3 km 3 of ice carved from the Milne and Ailes ice shelves between 1959 and 1974. The Ward Hunt Ice Shelf, the largest remaining section of thick landfast sea ice along the northern coastline of Ellesmere Island, lost 600 km of ice in a massive carving in 1961 a Euro 1962. It further decreased by 27% in thickness between 1967 and 1999. The breakup of the Ellesmere Ice Shelves has continued in the 21st century. The Ward Ice Shelf experienced a major breakup during summer 2002. The Ailes Ice Shelf carved entirely on August 13, 2005. The largest break off of the ice shelf in 25 years, it may pose a threat to the oil industry in the Beaufort Sea. The piece is 66 km 2. In April 2008, it was discovered that the Ward's Hunt shelf was fractured, with dozens of deep, multifaceted cracks and in September 2008 the Markham shelf completely broke off to become floating sea ice. Equals paleontology equals, Sku and Leighton Athorst described the Paleocene-Eocene fossil forest in the Stenkull Fod sediments. The Stenkull Fod site represents a series of deal tech swamp and floodplain forests. The trees stood for at least 400 years. Individual stumps and stems of greater than 1 m diameter were abundant, and are identified as Metazoquoia and possibly Glyptostrobus. Well preserved Pliocene peats containing abundant vertebrate and plant macrofossils characteristic of a boreal forest have been reported from Strathcona Fod. In 2006, University of Chicago paleontologist Neil Shubin and Academy of Natural Sciences paleontologist Ted Deichler reported the discovery of the fossil of a Paleozoic fish, named Tyktalic rosa, in the former stream beds of Ellesmere Island. The fossil exhibits many characteristics of fish, but also indicates a transitional creature that may be a predecessor of amphibians, reptiles, birds, and mammals, including humans. In 2011, Jason P. Duns and co-authors described the Sarcopterygian Lacognathus imbri from specimens collected from the same locality the Tyktalic was found. Equals insect ecology equals, Ellesmere Island is noted as being the northernmost occurrence of eusocial insects. Specifically, the bumblebee Bombus polaris. There is a second species of bumblebee occurring there, Bombus hyperboreus, which is a parasite in the nests of B. polaris. Population. In 2006, the population of Ellesmere Island was recorded as 146. There are three settlements on Ellesmere Island, Alert, Eureka, and Rise Fod. Politically, it is part of the Kuktaaluk region. Canadian Forces Station Alert is the northernmost settlement in the world. With the end of the Cold War and the advent of new technologies allowing for remote interpretation of data, the overwintering population has been reduced to approximately 65 civilians and military personnel. Eureka, which is the third northernmost settlement in the world, consists of three areas, Eureka Aerodrome, which includes Fort Eureka, the Environment Canada Weather Station, and the Polar Environment Atmospheric Research Laboratory, formerly the Arctic Stratospheric Ozone Observatory. Eureka has the lowest average annual temperature and least precipitation of any weather station in Canada. In popular culture, in the 2013 American superhero film Man of Steel, Ellesmere Island was the site of a combined U.S.-Canadian scientific expedition to recover an ancient Kryptonian spaceship buried in the glacial ice pack. The island was the location for the 2014 BBC program Snow Wolf Family and Me. See also References Further reading. Mech L. David, Brandenburg Jim, Life in the High Arctic National Geography June 1988, Volume 1973, No. 6, pages 750-767. External links, Ellesmere Island and the Atlas of Canada, 
to Parama. Natural Resources Canada, Mountains on Ellesmere Island, Detailed Map, Northern Ellesmere Island, including named capes, points, bays, and offshore islands by Geoffrey Hattersley Smith.